What you guys got another video here for you. It seems that Windows 10 is having more problems on my system. I had a particular update that was released uh, by Microsoft on February 11th and it was on my system and it was causing crashing and it was also causing freezing. I wondered whether my uh, solid state drive was failing or something like that, but it was this update that was causing the problem. What was happening was uh, my whole system was just freezing up and I had to uh, hard shut the PC down. It's called KB4524244 and you'll need to uninstall this. Now, Microsoft have pulled it so it won't be uh, released to the general public, but the problem is it's already been released to many people and many people are having problems. There might be uh, people out there that aren't having any problems, but if you are, you may want to remove it and I'll show you how. Just go to the search box and type control panel and open up the control panel and then what you want to do here is go into where it says programs and features if you were looking at the category view here just go into uninstall a program and you should uh, see it so it's programs and features go inside here and then go up to where it says view installed updates click on this one and then what you want to do is look for the culprit which is this one here if you don't see it in your list then use one of the lucky ones or you've had your updates paused and it wouldn't have come down but Microsoft have pulled it from their updating cycle so you won't get it anymore but once it's been removed which I would advise you to do because obviously it could cause problems even if it isn't causing problems now it could cause problems in the future and Microsoft have scrapped it so I would definitely uninstall it and remove it from uh, your updates uh, list there. So that's what I would do, just right click on it and click uninstall and it will uninstall that from the system. Because Microsoft have pulled it now, you won't receive that update anymore and you should be pretty much uh, good to go from there. Now, if you've got no issues at all with your computer, but it is on the system, I would still advise you to uninstall it because it could cause you problems further on down the line. Microsoft have pulled it and uh, they won't be releasing it anymore. So there's not much point having it on the system. You may as well remove it and you should be uh, good to go from there. So if you had a short video today and the late upload not been too well and uh, I should be able to resume videos as normal tomorrow. So anyway, that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.